we are constantly having a, we are constantly just putting the boots down they're in the way they they get wet that takes a while from the dry out so I decided I'm gonna build a boot rack to put by our door so let's build a boot rack now I got an eight foot two by six and I got some dials I plan I plan on splitting this in half and making two pieces of wood out of it and I want to make two levels four foot long and then pre-drill me some holes these are one inch dowels glue them, screw them underneath so it'll be easy, I'll probably sand it and stain it but let's get started we're going to cut this in half so eight foot piece, so let's measure four foot I'm going to split this two by six. My two levels. So now we're going to cut our feet. And they're going to be one foot. And I'm going to use the rest of my two by six. Cut in half. And it'll be a foot long. And that's going to be our feet. I may put one in the middle. But the design, I'm going to have taller boots in the back, shorter boots in the front, so my dowels in the back will be taller, and that way the shorter boots can fit up under it, and they won't hit each other. Just to give you an idea, there's the feet we just cut. I'm thinking about for looks. I'm going to cut a piece to go in here so it all looks flat. But that piece wouldn't be necessary. That would just be for just, just for looks only. I think I'm going to screw it from the bottom. That way you won't see any screws on top. Cut us two pieces about six and five eighths. That's what that distance is here. But you don't have to do this. This is just for looks. So this is what I figured out to where to put the boots. This thing's 48 inches long. I started right here. So that's where this piece is. And so I did one foot, which is right here. That's enough space to put the boots. Then I went over three inches. And then I did another foot, three inches, and then another foot, and it puts me right here, which is the same as this side. So that should look, that should look even. So where do I want to drill my holes for the dials? Well, this is a foot. My space is a foot, center six inches. So I'm going to split that, be 3 inches from this end, 3 inches from this end, or 3 and 9. That's where I'm going to put my dials, and that should give me plenty of clearance and a perfect space to put the boots. My tallest boot are my mucks. And they're 15 inches tall, so I'm thinking probably 16 inches for my longest dial. Then my shorter row is going to be in the front, and they're going to be 12 inches. I'm using a 1 inch dial. I got me, um, I'm pre drilling uh, one end of these. I'm going to put wood glue on this and wood glue in the hole. Now, my hole I got drilled in the rack is 15 sixteenths. Now, these are a 1 inch dial. So that makes it a super tight fit. And then when these go in there with the glue, I'll flip the rack over, my pre-drill hole, that'll be screwed. So I have a one screw and the wood glue and that tight, tight fit and that three-quarter inch depth. That should, that should be good. There's my hole. Like I said, it's about three-quarters of an inch deep. And then I pre-drilled it all the way through. You can see I got these in here already. I'm going to put glue in here glue on the dial, put the dial in, it's a super tight fit. Once I knock the dial in, I flip this rack over and I'll put me a screw through the bottom side. Now 
now we're going to screw it from the bottom side. It is pretty much finished. I'm going to sand it some more and then I'm going to stain it. And that bad boy will be done. Got it sanded. I got in here in my shop where I got the heater going, fixing to stain it. I just got some stain I had in here. I think it's pine. Just what I got. I'm not going to go buy any. And then when the stain dries, it soaks in and dries, I may put a coat of uh, beeswax on it. But right now, let's put some stain on this sucker. My stain is dry. It's going to put me a... a little coat of wax on it, set it out there, and we're going to put some boots on this sucker. Let me go show you this thing. Let's go look at it. It turned out pretty good. Look at that. It is working perfect. This is going to be so great for us. This is to keep our boots from being all over the place, and they'll be upside down so they can dry. This was an awesome and easy project. I hope y'all enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. And y'all have a great day.